Hello everyone, welcome to the Northwest Geology Guy. My name is Scott and I'm extremely excited to get back on YouTube after kind of a long hiatus here of a week or two because uh, I was really, really sick with a, a stomach flu and we just almost are done moving from a, an apartment to a three bedroom house. So this will be my very first video in my new office slash studio so i got a nice giant desk my computer's all set up and i'm just happy to be back on uh, youtube but tonight we're going to be talking about the mystery of the mima mounds 20 miles south of olympia washington and mima is m-i-m-a and they're prehistoric mounds that were formed after sometime after the end of the ice age about 12,600 years ago but the mystery is ever since they were first discovered uh in 1841 by captain charles wikes um he's also an explorer but nobody knows why or how these mounds were formed they cover over 600 acres of these and they're in no certain pattern no identical shape some are um, they most mostly average about six foot tall or two meters by 30 feet wide but as you can see from the diagram here they come in different various shapes and not all uh circular but um they kind of look like little gumdrops uh laying on the landscape but they're in the grasslands down there, and um, they've made a, a preserve out of it. It's a natural area preserve. Um, so they do have some of it uh, sectioned off into the reserve where they have sidewalks. You can walk along and look at and view all the, the mounds. But um, scientists have tried to figure out what caused these. Um, it's gone from earthquakes uh the seismic activity that, that shook the ground into these forms um but that doesn't really explain it because if it did it to that area you'd see them all over the the subduction zone from all the nine point earthquakes we've had over uh the millennia next they think it might have been from the glaciation uh from the ice age that might be a possibility but why there and nowhere else because we had ice all uh along the upper uh united states but it's really weird because they had uh one tv show i watched just the other day where i got the idea for this video um it was called something underground where the whole show is about something that's underground and um they were talking about these and the guy went to uh, on the private land with the owner's permission and with a backhoe and he scooped away uh, half of the mound to see what it, uh, how it was made up and you know if it was formed by what they think is pocket gophers um or termite mounds um none quite explained because the pocket gopher is a solitary animal and very territorial and that they would they were thinking it would take you know as like a group effort to make these mounds but they don't get along with each other that well so that kind of blows that theory out of the water but he found that at the bottom of the mounds that's where the larger rocks are found and almost like a turbidite uh i explained in uh, my cascadia subduction zone uh video I think it was yeah my very first one and it's like a turbidite uh, where the heavier material settles first all the way up to the very lightest at the top and over the many years uh grass seed is blown onto them so they're covered in, in grassy uh not really tall grass but kind of it's covered in grass but um everybody is trying to figure it out is it floods that cause these but you know we're talking about top scientists have looked at it trying to figure out so um 
I find it extremely uh, exciting. I've been trying to figure out uh, on my own from what I know what could have caused these, but you know, without being able to test them, physically go there and look at them, um, I have no idea. I would think maybe that the glaciers had come down and dropped these rocks uh, like they have over eastern Washington, where they're called um, glacial erratics. That was out of one of my last videos. And how the, the rocks were uh, transported via the glacier. And as they uh, started to melt, the, the rocks would drop wherever they were. And that's why you find a lot of rocks that are native to uh, Canada up in BC are now down here where they're not commonly found. So, you know, but that wouldn't work out either because why aren't they all over uh, the ends of the ice age where the glaciers have stopped? So what I'd like to do is I'd like to get your guys opinion on this, what you might think it is. Um, Kind of give me a little detail of why you think that. Um, and it'll be fun for the rest of us to read each other's responses. Um, I will be doing some more um, viewer request videos. I still got those. So for you that made requests, uh, I haven't forgot about you. Just I've been really crazy over here the last couple of weeks being sick and moving. Oh, I hate moving. But uh, give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and um comment and let me know what uh, your theories might be and i will see you in the next day or two as i try to pump out some more videos and get caught up all right you all take care and i will talk to you soon goodbye